YouTube, it's Emmy, Emmy back, um, Emmy from Emmy Made in Japan, back with a, another quick um, cooking video. Um, I had a couple requests for uh, desserts, and um, someone in particular said something about instant kind of cake recipe, cake mixes, and there aren't really. Um, in Japan, I've noticed there's not a lot of, um, well, first of all, kitchens are not equipped with oven combination oven microwave oven which is I had never heard of but it's um they're actually quite popular here and common so it's kind of like a toaster oven it's small it's like a microwave that can also bake um, but it has its limitations because you have to make things a lot smaller so um, I've converted a lot of my recipes into half recipes but anyways to make a long story short you can still bake in Japan um, you just gotta be a little bit more creative I make my my very favorite simplest chocolate cake recipe it's really 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 simple and it's vegan so for those vegetarians and vegans out there this is a great recipe dollar store Daiso uh, you can get these baking cups um, they're like muffin tins, but made out of paper. So if you want to make muffins or muffin size, please go ahead and use just a regular um, muffin tray. Lightly butter the pan so it doesn't stick. And um, well, if you're doing this vegan, then lightly grease it with some cooking spray. Okay, so let's put this together. Begin with a large bowl. And we're going to sift all the dry ingredients. Your cocoa powder, sugar, salt, and baking soda. And sift that into your container. So as you can see, you still have all these clumps, so just press them through, especially with the cocoa. Okay, when you have all your dry ingredients sifted, set that aside. I'm using olive oil because that's what I had, but um, yeah, I would normally use like a canola oil or like a vegetable oil because it's just um, more reasonably priced. Um, so yeah, don't feel like you have to use olive oil. There's no need. A cup of water. This has been measured. Um, and then add your vanilla. That was simple. So it's important not to add the vinegar at this step yet because um, that's what's going to give this cake volume is the reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar. So if you add that too quickly then all of your leavening gets kind of, your leavening power gets taken up too early. So wait to add the vinegar. Okay. So I'm adding the oil mixture to Okay. I love this because it comes together really quickly, and um, I usually have all these ingredients on hand, so it doesn't require any extra effort. It's really nice to kind of just whip up. So once you combine everything together, make sure you scrape all the bits. You could use a mixer for this, but I don't bother because it comes together fast enough without a mixer. Chocolate chips are kind of hard to find in Japan. You can find them, but they're just really expensive. So what I do is just get a chocolate bar. This is just Meiji black uh, dark chocolate. Like a, any old chocolate bar will do. And then I just break it up into bits and add that. Like I said, I use the chocolate as a um, um, substitute for frosting because I'm not a big icing or frosting fan because I just feel like it's too sweet and just another layer of work. So I just add chocolate chips and I feel like it, I find it adds enough sweetness that makes it special. So oh. I should mention your oven should be preheated at 375. Um, in Japan I usually cook it about 180, 190 degrees C. So bits and finally our vinegar. So don't overmix this. You'll immediately start seeing a reaction between the vinegar and the baking soda. Don't overmix. Just Mixed so you have some swirls in there, folds, and that's good. I'm going to be so pouring into cups, is just use measuring cup to scoop. Um, okay, this is a half cup measuring cup. And I like to give everyone an initial fill up and then come back some more later.
oven and bake them for about 18 to 20 minutes or until when you put a toothpick in them, it comes out clean. Just out of the oven. And they turned out pretty nicely. Pretty cute. So, so just pretend this cake is completely cooled. And then just take some powdered sugar and sift it on top. Really cute, elegant, little chocolate cake. Like that. This is just a fa fancy kind of cupcake container, and it's steaming because it's super hot. So let's try it. Down the hatch, the bucky moss. Mmm. I really like this cake recipe because it's not overly sweet. It's like chocolate cake straight up. It's not trying to be a brownie. It's not trying to be, you know, molten lava, chocolate, gut-busting madness. It's just straight up chocolate cake. And I especially like it with coffee. Um, I didn't have any coffee on hand today, so I just made it with water. But try making it with coffee. It's really good. You don't really taste the coffee. It tastes more, it tastes, makes the chocolate taste chocolatier. I don't know if that makes sense, but it really does. And the little bits of chocolate that I added in there just add enough sweetness to make it more special, make it more not just like a plain chocolate sheet cake. So you don't need any frosting or any icing. It's good just like this. And I recommend eating it when it's completely cooled. Um, it's nice when it's warm. Although I would eat it warm if I was serving it with maybe... Um, ice cream, that would be really good. Because then you would have a hot chocolate cake and then you have a dollop of, of just vanilla ice cream. I th I'm, a, I'm a big advocate of keeping things simple. Um, so, yeah. So chocolate cake with vanilla ice cream? Sounds good to me. So go ahead and try this. I highly recommend it. Um, and for you vegans and vegetarians, this is perfect. There are no eggs, no dairy, um, except for the chocolate chips, of course, you would use um, vegan chips or just omit them um, entirely. And there you go. Let me know how it turns out. If you guys make it, make a response, take pictures, let me know. Always want to hear what you guys think. Okay, I hope you enjoyed another cooking episode, new another home ec cooking episode, um, this time dessert. So um, see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.